In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can work with cloth physics. We're going to look at how collision works with a collider, as well as how to constrain a mesh with brush-based constraint painting. In this scene, I have a character walking and a number of meshes suspended from a frame. I've put this together using a few free assets from the asset store. I'm using the Strong Knight for our character and Free Material Scan Samples Volume 1 for the materials on the mesh. If we play the scene, we can see that the knight walks straight through the mesh. Instead, I'd like the mesh to move realistically and interact with the character as they walk through it. We can do this by adding a cloth component, so let's select our mesh and add cloth. When we play, we can see that because our cloth has gravity enabled, it just falls straight to the ground. This isn't ideal. We want our cloth to act as though it is suspended from this frame, so let's add some constraints to the mesh to stop it from falling straight to the ground. With the cloth constraint tool open, we can drag and select points on the mesh to constrain. We can drag to select over a number of vertices uniformly, or select the paint tool and paint along the vertices we wish to constrain and then set the maximum distance accordingly. Finally, we just need to assign the capsule collider from our character onto our cloth component for it to be considered when calculating collision physics. Now, if we play our scene, we can see that as our character walks through our mesh, it interacts and moves realistically as if they're walking through a piece of material. We can change the stretching stiffness and bending stiffness properties to adjust how our cloth moves and interacts. It's worth experimenting with this to get the best results for your intended use with a mesh. Finally, we may want to adjust how a mesh collides within itself. I have a second mesh here, which I'd like to hang from the center of this frame. If I play the scene, we can see that the mesh swings around and distorts through itself, which isn't an ideal behavior. Ideally, we want it to be aware of itself and interact with itself accordingly. We can use the self collision settings to define this. Let's select the self collision tool and select our collision particles. Then let's increase the collision distance slightly. It's worth mentioning that distance should be set smaller than the smallest distance between two particles in the configuration. If the distance is larger, self-collision may violate some distance constraints and result in jittering. Now, if we play our scene, our material hangs from the pole and interacts with itself in a much more realistic way. As you can see, it's fast and easy to get realistic looking material collision using the cloth component. For more information on cloth physics and for more Unity demos, follow the links below. Thanks for watching.